Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? So today what I'm gonna to talk to you about is how the masculine is doing ascension. How are they doing with it? What is going on? How is it perceived? And the big thing to know is it's time to start addressing things with your body, through your body, and inside your body because your body's going to. So you're connected to someone whether you like it or not. And this energy has been very strange because it is pushing people in ways that they haven't really been triggered in a while. It's going to be with family. It could be with friends. It could be with colleagues. And you may not understand why is this happening and playing out the way that it is. Well, one of the reasons is it is time for you to transcend some things and learn how to transmute things with your body using your body. There is an entirely new level that you're living at. Even though that's mainly considered a zero point or people will say, oh, that's your center point, that's your zero point. It's new. What that means is it's incumbent on you to learn about it. That is what I teach. That is what I help people with. I like to help people during a session because during a session, we get things accelerated big time. I've had people kick in their financial flow again, get things rolling with work and health and their other relationships. That means with children, with elderly parents, where solutions start showing up. When you start getting to that level and you're no longer looking for bones to be thrown to you, at the old level or working on the old lower drives, that's when some real change can be accomplished. Change, transformation, and that's important. So how has this energy been? Well, in a lot of ways, I like to compare it to a card I found years ago. And this card is two, two beings, one is a dog, and she looks like she's reluctantly walking the dog. But inside it says, has it been a name calling kind of day? And that's how some of this has been. It's been where people want to call names. People are fed up. They're getting tired of it. And sometimes flat out getting tired and exhausted. You're just tired. Why are you tired? Because it takes a lot of energy to keep up the anger and keep up the fighting and keep up the dissension. It really does. And the more tired you feel, the more you're going to feel like you want it to shift. You want to change it. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. But it's at that point you actually realize how sick and tired some of this stuff is. What happens in between people? You're a narcissist. Well, you're daddy's girl. Oh! I can't believe you said that to me. That even proves even more so that you're a narcissist. What is it about you that thinks I'm a narcissist? So what if I am thrifty? So what if I pay attention to things? I pay attention to the things you never really pay attention to. Well, I pay attention to other things. You do know it's your responsibility to do this or that. Yeah, I do take responsibility. I learned a long time ago that if I don't, Nobody else is going to do it for me. My dad kicked my butt and I had to learn it the hard way. I went to the school of hard knocks. Why is that being what you called? Why are you calling me a name anyway? I thought you liked me. Well, I do like you. It's just that so many times, like your behavior is so confusing. And there they go. They're off and running to the races. And what are they doing? They're calling names. They're calling names. That doesn't help anyone. And it gets worse because in this energy, if things start to get escalated, then you're talking about sticks and stones breaking bones. And yeah, it all hurts. It hurts our feelings, no matter which way you try to slice it. And this is part of the problem is we've all grown calluses against these kind of things. We're tough. We put up walls. Well, guess what? There's a softening effect happening. And people are feeling very overly sensitive. But what is the masculine doing and how are they doing ascension? Well, there's a lot happening in the body. Leg issues, hips, knees, below the hips, along the sides of the legs. 
pains and discomfort in areas that are not normal. Not the normal places you'd feel it. Cramps, weird bowel cramps, circulatory issues, even sensing that are you having some kind of a circulatory issue. It's time to address some things with your body. Also, right over the heart. His heart is aching. He can feel it. He can feel it right here. Why? Where is this coming from? What does he do about it? He tried to do a few things. Apparently, it's metaphysical. Well, sir, you need a metaphysician. That's me. And that is where I am prepared to help people. How do you get it shifted? And don't even think that you're going to wash your hands of your twin and say, you know, just by titling it that you're going to, or labeling it, that you're going to just be able to sweep it under the rug. We are not in an energy that enables anyone to sweep things under the rug anymore. It's out. And if it's not out now, it's going to come out again at the full moon. It's going to keep coming out till you address it. So name calling and labels just don't work. Not for twin flames, because you are the people who are here to transcend it and to fix it. And to not only fix it, but get it to a level of love. Unconditional me love means being persistent. Unconditional love means you're not putting conditions on it. You are this, therefore I cannot that. Those are conditions. And you might say to yourself, well, gee, what well, do I do then? Because I shouldn't go stand in it. No, you don't. Okay. In fact, some people are seeing a bit of a mirror. They may be seeing uh, some things that are being mirrored back of things that need fixing. And what are some of the other things that happen? This focus, feeling disfocused, feeling disoriented, feeling overwhelmed. So how do you help your twin? You have to feel and participate in your body. Are you having issues with your abundance? That is most definitely a causal body issue because you might feel like your manifestor is broken. You might feel as if, if only he would show up, then so many things would be well, would be fine, would be whatever, would be fixed. Okay, this is a full codependency on the old masculine energy as it has been. Many people are no longer supporting the things that they once supported. So if these two are intended to be together, he's not going to be supporting old things, people, places. He's not going to let old people call him up and say, hey, I need help with this. Hey, I need help with that. Furthermore, there are things that just happen with the body very abruptly. And that is what is throwing people off because how can he come and be and do if he himself is going through some stuff? It's not always possible. It's not impossible, but it sure taxes the system. So what are the things that you would like to know? Well, what would you like to learn about this subject? We will find out. What is your abundance? Where is your abundant flow? How do you get that jump started again? How do you get things flowing again? Or even what people would call mission. I don't always call it mission because it's very, you know, it's very um, almost militant. <laughs> but what is the calling of the heart? What would you, you know, what is it that you're feeling? How do you get to feel it? What if you don't know? What if during the session you could know a lot more and you start to open up those gates and start to open up those doors to get your flow going? Can this help your personal relationships? Oh, absolutely. That is another thing that on this journey, we tend to have times when we are isolated or we are the hermit. However, when you are going through things, there are times you actually need people sometimes. And sometimes it is then when you find out what it is that you want. What? How is it? How do you want your future to be? That also is a part of your causal body connection. How does it help your personal relationships with family, with children? Again, this is your creator. This is your manifestor. This is the part of you that sends the signals to where it needs to go. 
Are you sending mixed messages? Okay, are you saying things like this? Well, I really want to be in love, but yeah, I really can't stand this or that, okay? And it takes a lot of discernment to actually know when is someone being negative, okay? If Is someone in their ego or are they paying attention to themselves? Because they should know themselves. Many times men do. Many times women lose themselves in a relationship. They compromise too much and it takes them a little bit to come back to themselves. What about men? What about them? Well, when it comes to certain things, a lot of times men will be very zoned. However, dealing with body issues involves the two people that are in the twin flame union. Twin flame union is the way that you unify your subtle bodies. Do not be thrown off by people that say, well, you're not together with the person or you're in some form of separation. All forms of separation will continue to close the gap for you. You're going to find that that person is a lot closer than you may think they are. What else? Have you been through a bad breakup? Okay. Have you been through a really terrible breakup? Are you finding yourself having nightmares? Are you finding that your nights are very strange and you can't interpret your dream time? You actually need to get some really good rest. I would suggest the Psyche Session. This is for major traumas. Have you had a trauma? Have you been exposed to traumas? Do you have phobias? Have you had any um, bad um, abuses, physical abuse? Men get their fair share of abuse that happens. I've many times worked on men in my studio and I can feel it. I can feel it on their bodies. Now, I don't just feel, I get the flash of seeing the scene of what happened and I start to, it starts to move. I am capable of transmuting these things. It usually takes three to four sessions on this to get things fully out. But how much time does that expedite? Let's compare it to doing something like two to three years of therapy versus three to four months. That's how much it can expedite it. What about this? This session here. Let's say there's health issues, okay? I have helped people through health issues and with guidance in three to four sessions that it might take them up to five years. Now, the general direction is that people get healthy, live well, feel better, and be in love. That is a thing that's being forgotten out there. I'm not sure how many people are forgetting about this, but if you really look and you really start to assess, like, what the heck are people talking about? Okay. Some of it isn't even about love. Why is that? Why have people forgotten? Because people go off onto their own tangents. Okay. So... A part of a song is like a bolt out of the blue, love comes in and sees you through. Okay, many people are getting pulled or have been pulled in position so that they can start addressing these things. Only you can address the things that exist in your family that are a part of your body, are a part of your genetic makeup and your twins. Only you can address some of the things that are the patterns. What about these bad breakups? Do you want to learn how to break the cycles of relationship? You know, what are these relationships? Well, what if when people uh, need to discuss something, okay? You have people with all kinds of issues. You don't want to talk about it. But I haven't even said anything. I can just see the look on your face. I didn't say anything. You know what? Um, there's a certain facial expression you get every time you're ready to broach a subject with me that's always uncomfortable, and I'm not doing it right now, just not doing it, okay? And she's saying, I didn't even say a word. I know you didn't. She didn't say a word. She didn't have to. It was already to get to the name-calling state, okay? And what else happened? Emotions. How do you get these things shifted? Causal body session. 
How do you start to get back into a state of feeling well? Because if you don't get yourself feeling well, that may or may not be the right way to help the masculine and how they are doing ascension. Let's even talk about other ways that people address things. Some people just go ahead and go for the medicine. Some people just go ahead and go for the self-medication. Alcohol, drugs. Some people are trying everything they can except their bodies. They want to try this. They want to try that. They hear about things. They want to like gaze at the sun and burn their retinas out. They want to go look at conspiracy theories. They want to go look up. And, it, and you know what? A lot of that information is already stored in your Akashic records. You don't necessarily need to. However, what is new is your body. You have parts of you that reciprocate the love back and forth to each other. You have parts of you that wouldn't even want to call each other a name. Why? Because it bounces back. Why? Because you get that karmic two by four upside your head the minute you try to do something. Have you ever yelled at someone and then suddenly feel like, oh, I have a stomach ache? Bounce back, okay? You get that boomerang effect. What about self-medication? Well, for people that are on the journey, self-medicating yourself, that's not going to go very far. And I know this from personal experience. I have it run in my family. I'm Irish. We drink, we drink, you know, we have, a, you know, we have a good time until those good times don't start being good anymore. And then people start saying, well, which came first? Did this come first or did that come first? You know, how did we even get to this point? It's not going to matter. What is going to matter is start addressing who you are, who you really are, what you're really doing here. Start working with your subtle body so that you can actually affect change that gets you not only up to the next level, helps you maintain, because that is the next thing, okay? It's being assumed that somehow you get to the zero point, you don't have to lift a finger. That's not quite the truth. The truth is that you yourself have to be able to know your body. You're owning that. You have to own that. It's like someone handing you a brand new, bicycle with a lot of bells and whistles or a Ferrari, you let it sit in the corner with a ribbon on it and you do nothing. Okay. Get in, take it for a test drive, test drive it with me in one of these sessions. And let's see how quickly your body can start to shift these things because it happens immediately for a lot of people. Do you want to focus on the negative? You're going to get a lot more of it. In fact, you start to tumble around in that washing machine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait until we really hit the accelerator here and you start going through the lion's gate. That's going to be turbulent times and it's going to be for a lot of people. Why? Why when people are saying that this is putting closure? Okay, all it does is close the door to the past. All it does is close the door to bad memories. You still have to mind your P's and Q's. You still have to learn. You still have to get yourself up and running. You still have to be able to properly maintain. What is proper maintenance? That means you have two bodies. You have a human body and you have your twin flame body. It's that simple. And there are times that they seem like they're two separate things, except it's all you. So how do you get this to be very seamless? Come and learn. Come and reach out. If you have questions, reach out to me with an email, twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Check the links below. And people are writing things out there, okay? You might think that a comment section is a forum. It's like the Wild West. You're leaving yourself open for, you know, just people's opinions and what this one thinks and wherever people are coming from. Come and find what really works so that you can start to get it shifted so it, you can get whatever's embedded and you can start to get that released. Where are the men at? The men want to be in love too, okay? They want exactly the same thing you want. They want to be in love. They want to feel. Many times that's what they've been pursuing, just some feeling, just some sensations, 
okay? The love is already connected. Many times this is why they're not looking to go deep. There's already a deep connection. How's that going to work? Well, there is a higher sense and sensibility here at work. And there is a wisdom here to the sequence of things. There's going to be more waves of people. How many people are going to go in this wave? Well, all of them should they so choose it. And there's the kicker. You have to be able to get yourself to you have to be able to get yourself to a level where you yourself have chosen, you yourself have taken some steps, and you yourself are starting to learn. Getting certain things might feel helpful in the moment, but ultimately it's up to you to learn about how do you utilize these brand new parts and levels of yourself to your own benefit, okay, to your benefit. Not the benefit of a collective that doesn't really care. I mean, look around you. Go to a store and really look around at people and ask yourself if you want to be in unity with them. I'm betting, you know, 99% of you are going to say, yeah, I don't want to be in unity with that person or that person. Yeah, I don't know what that person, I don't know what's going on over there, but I don't want any, right? Okay, that's not what unity is about. Unity for twin flame couples means unifying just you and your true love. And that's it. Unification of your subtle bodies. So thanks so much for watching. This is important stuff. Do not ignore it. If you are a man, okay, if you're a man and watching this, please know there's quite a bit about the masculine energy that I myself understand because I go through it. And I will help you to pinpoint some things. Please don't ignore the heart, any kind of constrictions around the heart, because you yourself are holding the cosmic connection to heart. Okay, that means you have a heart connection to favorite places. And if your heart is bothering you, if you're feeling chest constriction, Come and see me. If you're female and you're feeling some of this, it might be on behalf of your twin. Still come and see me. We will get it shifted and I will explain to you what to do and provide you with some support material. I do that in every session. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.